Hello everyone, Sons and Dog 2, and welcome to another follow-up sort of redo overview of Emerging Technology, a mod that adds hydroponics as well as a bunch of other stuff since, such as plastic, using DNA from animals for other different purposes, waste collection, and so on. So, we'll just start from the beginning, which you'll want, obviously, if you want to use the wiki, but uh, obviously you want a shredder, as well as a processor. A shredder is made from iron, basic machine casing, which you'll want nether quartz for, as well as some iron bars. And from there you can pretty much just use a shredder itself and other means. But you'll want sugarcane to make shredded plant, and you'll also want, if I can find it, potato for shredded starch, or there's Possibly some others you could use, such as beetroot, as well, if you have that on you. As well as a bunch of other recipes there is, but for now, we just need the shredded starch and shredded plants. From there, you also want to make some clear plastic, which you can use the shredded plants that you got from before for that. Which will actually get a processor here, which is want some iron and gets an iron block iron bars, and a basic machine casing. Now, for power, there is a few options as well, but uh, I've just gone with a few solar panels here for the sake of it. I don't know why that sign isn't working. That's a bit odd. Um, let's see. Uh, technically, this should be close enough. I would definitely recommend probably one from another mod first until we cover the other features though. But uh, for now, probably just best to get a another mod's um, power generator, like a coal generator of sorts. Otherwise though, once you've got your shred starch that you can use for blocks and other different things, you put in the processor, and then you can get a block of bioplastic, which you can then use for bioplastic sheets as well as bioplastic rods and a bunch of other different things. You can also smelt this to get fabricator filament, to then use that to make a fabric, use in a fabricator to then sort of automate the process of this if you want. And you can make a fabricator like so. But you obviously do need some bioplastic rods first. So you can easily automate pretty quickly. Otherwise, there is pretty much, I think, just whatever you want from this point forward when it comes to, say, doing the DNA stuff, to injecting water, to making CO2 into water, growing stuff, and so on. So we'll just go to a few of these. First off, you've got... If I can find it... Uh, let's see, I guess we'll go with the water filler first which is made like so, and pretty much is just an infinite water block. Um, it pretty much just provides uh, a quarter of a bucket's worth per tick. If we just place it in the world, next to the following here for example, you can see the amount of water going into it. So if you want an infinite water block, you've got that besides using, say, a pump from another mod. Since we'll stick with other blocks. We've got the hydroponic growth bed, which is pretty much just a way of making plants grow on top of it and giving them a growth boost every so often. Uh, it requires obviously 10 millibuckets of fluid per tick, and uh, pretty much we've just got fluid storage there. We put some wheat seeds in, for example, which this is a similar thing that I covered in the original version of the mod. Now just put the seeds on top, and then you can see the base um, sort of stats here of the fluid and the medium I'm assuming is just the growth ticks differences as well as the lighting. So I don't know if it's actually gonna grow here, it may. So I'll just remove this stuff just in case. And we don't see anything there. So I'll just put say some water here, nothing different there. Actually remove the seeds there. Try that. So nothing different there. Okay, so you pretty much just put the seeds there, 
Oh wait, I have to remember. Uh, dirt. Here we go. So probably want dirt. There we go. That's it. So you put the medium in, which will be something like dirt, sand, and a few other types of blocks, and that'll also determine the growth stages as well. You obviously can bone meal this if you want, but uh, you don't really need to. But it'll pretty much do this by itself. Put in something like sand. You can see a difference there. And I'm pretty sure things like salt sand might be needed. Um, so no, probably not. So just get another growth bed. We'll actually get some lava. Because I think you can do this with nether walls as well. Or at least according to the images. So put some fluid storage there. Salt sand, maybe nether rack. I'm trying to remember if this is possible. Um, should be the growth bed itself, and we'll see what shows up. So, nothing. Okay. So, yeah. And obviously, if you just use a bucket, it's not going to do much on its own, so you're going to want to keep refilling things constantly. So if you have a pump with lava in it, you can definitely do that. So the lava's pretty much going to do the job, it seems. You, you can't put it in there. Otherwise though, if we move on to the next, you can see obviously the different types of blocks that you can make. Many of these will be appearing out of many of the machines that you get. So the shredded plants, bioplastic, and a few others. There's also a sort of thin one, as well as a solar glass and a few others. So just go through those real quick. So you've got clear bioplastic, sorry. So you're making a processor, a fabricator. You've got the hydroponic frame, like so, and a few of the others that we've already covered. Biochar block you can get as well from biomass, which we'll cover soon. And the polluted blocks, I'm pretty sure, come from some of the other stuff over there. So we'll move on to the harvester, which is made like so. And you can use this to pretty much harvest block, uh, harvest crops. We just bone meal this wheat here. You can see that it will harvest over time. If we take that out, it will do that. It doesn't always do it though, but it takes its time. Let's just see if it does it on the side, so it can operate on sides. I don't know exactly what range it does, it might only do in a one block in front of it type of way. Yep, so it only do on the four sides, I'm assuming it doesn't do diagonal, and it doesn't do above or below, likely, but we'll actually see if that is possible, but I don't think it will. We should try. So we'll get a hoe, right click that, get some seeds, do this, I'm assuming it'll ignore it. Yep, so it'll pretty much only do it if it's on the four sides. Otherwise, we have the, yeah, I guess we'll go with the CO2 scrubber, which doesn't seem to have a recipe at the moment, but pretty much what it does is obviously it captures CO2 from the area. It requires a fair bit of RF as well as water. And if you just pretty much place in the world and have water and power, it'll store some CO2 in there. I don't think there's possibly a need to put other stuff in here, unless it's possibly just a water bucket, I think. So you can put a water bucket in there, and it may just consume it. So you've got gas storage there. If you go to the diffuser, which is made like so with a bunch of nozzle components, and a turbine. Go back to the recipe here. The nozzles are made in a fabricator only, which you can then use a bunch of others, I think, as a way of improving the effectiveness. Um, so the range, rather than possibly the speed generating them. Um, or it lasts longer. Um, I don't think it has durability though, but we'll see. So we'll just put this in, that's just the nozzle crafting. So you can see a smart one there, and that'll generate, I'm assuming, more gas. You can see a difference there, you can see a difference there. So just like the um, hydroponic block when you put the sand or dirt in, you'll see a difference there if doing things for obviously sugarcane, wheat seeds, etc. So that's pretty much what this does as far as I can tell. You've got the nutrient injector, which I'm pretty sure you just want some fluid, which I've just got the 
um, water from the water filler here. And as far as I know, I've come across, or well, assumed, that you just put a bucket in here and possibly inject it with gas. Uh, I don't know if you do have to have this nearby though, so I'll actually move this away and we'll put this nearby. There's nothing there. Just get an empty bucket. No fluid storage there, so we'll try and save some lava. Nothing. The nutrient fluid bucket, I'm not too sure, because I'm assuming it's supposed to generate it, rather than anything else. So just put that there. And yes, yeah, so there's no gas storage for it, so I'm not really too sure what you put in here. And I haven't come across anything else, so let's take a look. But yeah, there's no information on it just yet, as far as I can find. Uh, custom fluids, hydrogen, nitrogen, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, go to machines and it's just recipes. Everything else isn't too much information on synthetics. I don't think it presents either. Um, I don't even think nutrients displayed here. Uh, water not enough. Mixes fertilizer to provide more growth. Okay, so we might put bone meal in and see what happens. Nothing. Nothing there, so I don't really know how to do that just yet, but my guess is you can use this in the hydroponic uh, growth bed, and you can use that instead of water, even though water is a lot more accessible with that. But there may be possibly enhancements each time, I assume, with this. So just right-click that a few times. And it's still 5%, so I'm not too sure there. Uh, but I'm assuming this is a way of creating it rather than anything else. I just don't exactly know how. 